I'm CEO of Kairos Autonomy, and uh, we build a unmanned kit today that you put on a vehicle, makes it drive itself, called Prono 4. And that came out of the urban challenge and the grand challenge. Everybody enters these contests for a different reason, and our reason to enter it is to develop a product, product to sell, to ship, to manufacture. Our partners, uh, there's a company called Autonomous Solutions. There's three research universities, Utah State, BYU, and University of Utah. So this will be a total Utah effort coming into the robotics challenge. We understood that this was a rescue robot. And so, uh, it, the, you know, you go into a, a scene that's complex already, you don't need to add more complexity. So we were looking for something quite a bit simpler than maybe a biped. Our intent was to make something that could persist for a long time, uh, not spend a lot of energy doing things it didn't need to do. And we felt balance was one of those things. So you'll see us with a multi-legged robot. There's a gentleman named Steve Jacobson he used to do a bunch of work for DARPA. He's uh, out of Salt Lake City, patented a device called a LAD actuator. Studied under Steve. This would be a LAD-based robot. It would be an electric robot. Always been infatuated with the LAD. And LADs, the LADs aren't used today. They're really lightweight. Uh, they're inexpensive to make, uh, not a lot of maintenance. We've already built a series of the actuators and the legs and, and all that. So we've gotten good headway in that regard. We've been working on LADs since uh, probably February. Uh, so a little bit before the announcement was made, we knew the, uh, uh, the Robotics Challenge came out. It was pretty easy for us to go ahead and decide that's what we were going to do. 